in September 2011 at our National SMSF conference, um, I was quite excited to launch the Institute's new CA SMSF specialisation program. It's a, it's a brand new offering for our members who operate in the self-managed super fund sector and it gives them the ability to demonstrate to their clients their skills and knowledge and expertise in this important sector of the self-managed superannuation fund industry. It really was designed to be a build on what it means to be a chartered accountant and in developing it we've actually um, developed two pathways. One is based around a postgraduate educational qualification and the other is our form for our more experienced practitioners and they have the ability to do a four day workshop. In 2010, Jeremy Cooper gave his report to the government on his review of the superannuation system in Australia. One of the comments that he made was that the standards for accountants and administrators in the self-managed super fund sector was best placed with the professional accounting bodies. So in many respects, this SMSF specialisation is about the Institute stepping up and answering that call. So we believed it was going to be a real service offering to our members and it's only for chartered accountants and it just gives them the ability to demonstrate to their clients their expertise and their knowledge and their skills in this very important sector of the superannuation industry. On a more personal note, my background is actually in public practice. So for many, many years I've worked in the self-managed superannuation fund sector and at that time I always thought it would be a great opportunity if I, as a chartered accountant, could demonstrate to my clients my expertise in SMSFs. Chartered accountants are already recognised in the broader community as highly skilled and qualified and trusted advisors. So in developing the SMSF specialisation, we wanted to build on that trust and build on that expertise that is already expected of a chartered accountant by their, by their clients. This specialisation is only available to chartered accountants and it gives our members the ability to build on what it was to go through the CA program. We know that going through the CA program is a very challenging but rewarding part of a, an accountant's career. So in offering the specialisation, it is that absolute build on what it means to be a chartered accountant. And it will then give members the ability to go through an education process that is robust, as is what is expected of a chartered accountant, and be able to gain the recognition by their professional association as a CA SMS specialist. At this stage we're not recognising any other studies or any other qualifications. We believe we've set a new benchmark for SMSF specialisation so we will not be following any other accreditations. However, due to the assumed knowledge that is required for the workshop component for those more experienced members, we do believe that other courses and other qualifications will assist members with that assumed knowledge component to be able to successfully complete the workshop. The SMSF specialisation is not designed to specifically satisfy any requirements for licensing or registrations. However, the university has undertaken to ensure that these courses will satisfy any RG146 components that members may require for training for future licensing. In designing the CA SMSF specialisation, we put in specific experience uh, aspects or requirements that members would be required to meet. So those that choose the postgraduate pathways has to have at least two years of practical SMSF experience and those that are doing the workshop component have, has to have at least four years of practical SMSF work experience. Now we recognise that there may be some members that would come close to these requirements and have some experience in other areas or other related areas. So for example, if somebody had um, a high degree of or nearly got across the line in SMSF experience but they also had some broad experience in the superannuation industry or the financial planning industry, they would still be able to apply for specialisation and we could ask the board to exercise some discretion to get those, um, those members across the line in terms of specialisation. 
So there is some discretionary powers there, but members would still need to demonstrate that the, the dominance of the SMSF experience, Albert, that they could leverage off some of their other related field experience. The CASMSF specialisation is not designed to be a prerequisite for chartered accountants offering SMSF services to their clients, but it is the opportunity for those chartered accountants to really demonstrate that they are backed by their professional association for their particular skills and expertise and knowledge in the self-managed superannuation fund market. I'm really excited about this program. Um, I think it's a fabulous opportunity for chartered accountants operating in the SMSF sector and um, I think members will really enjoy the program.